Hello everybody and welcome to SnackTube. I've got a wee Poundland find today. They've got a few flavours, but this one sounded the nicest, so we're going to give this a wee try. These are Craxel pretzel pieces, garlic bread flavour. So these are going to be buttery and garlicky, hopefully, and they'll be pretzely. So a lot of those things are things that I very much enjoy. I've never had Craxel before, but uh, if you've watched some of my videos, I have had Schneider's um, pretzel pieces before. This is looks like it's along the same lines, and um, those are great. I love those things. The Schneider's pretzels are delicious. I've had them um, before, and they're so, so good. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to try these. Hopefully, they're very similar, but with different flavour. They had a few different flavours as well in Poundland. Um, I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but it does say a couple of different flavours in the back here. Honey mustard onion, which would be similar to the honey mustard one you get with the Schneiders. And then there's one that's wasabi as well. So, if these are nice, we'll definitely go and get some more flavours to try. So yeah, these were from Poundland. I think it was a pound for the packet. I'm not 100% sure, I can't really remember. But typically, stuff in Poundland, I suppose, isn't really a pound anymore most of the time because, you know, inflation. And there's only so cheap you can make food. Uh, but it's still really cheap stuff. And um, this is a cheap snack. Reasonable sized packet. This is a 85 gram bag. Looks like a small bag, but the stuff is quite heavy. So that's about two, three packets of certain types of crisps. So you probably shouldn't sit and eat a whole bag of these, but we'll go through the nutritional information anyway. Uh, so let me just see, is there any, any other writing on here? Pretzel pieces with garlic bread seasoning. You've got ingredients there. I'll just read these out because there's I don't think you'll be able to read this, but because there's not a lot of them. Uh, wheat flour, vegetable oils, garlic bread seasoning, which is salt, sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, colours, flavourings, salt, sugar, yeast emulsifier. Uh, contains gluten. Yeah. No uh, surprise there. Uh, warning, not suitable for small children who would choke on small pieces. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty straightforward. Right, pretzel pieces. Uh, let's give them a wee read of the nutrition. So it's only got it by 100 grams on here, so you can do any maths you feel like. This is an 85 gram bag. So per 100 grams, 544 calories. Sounds about right for something like this. 32.8 grams of fat, 12.5 grams of saturated fat, 55 grams of carbs, expected that to be high of which 11.25 grams of sugars, 2.6 grams of fiber, 7.4 grams of protein, and 2.5 grams of salt. So, yeah, it's all reasonably high, but it's to be expected with something like this. All right, I'm excited to try this now. Let's uh, bust this bad boy open. Well, they look the same as the Schneiders. Look like pretzel pieces. Let's give them a wee sniff. Mm. They smell garlicky, but they also... They smell fake garlicky. Not fake garlic, but you know you get that powdered garlic, or that garlic that comes in a jar. Um, it smells like that, which isn't as nice as fresh garlic. Hmm. Sour kind of smell. I don't know. The proof is in the tasting, really. All right, let's get a wee bit out and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, generally, pretzel pieces are usually quite soft in the middle, but they're like hard on the outside, a hard outer shell. That's what you're looking for. So you've got a bit of crunch, but you've also got a bit of soft sort of cakiness. So they kind of work as a savoury or as a, a sweet, because I have had the Schneiders and there's a really sweet one I had, which was lovely. And then the savoury mustard one, which was really nice. Although that was quite sweet as well, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, let's do it then. Let's try these. I'm excited to try them. So these are Craxel pretzel pieces. Garlic bread flavour. Let's give them the old taste test, shall we?
Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, what I'm seeing here, feeling here is that there's definitely more flavor in the smaller pieces. So the likes of that. It does have a sort of um, buttery flavor to it. Um, like a, a melted buttery flavor. But yeah, like, like that phony fake butter you put on popcorn in the cinemas. I suppose you don't really get that here. You get it in Canada, but you, I, don't, I suppose you don't really get it in this country. I don't think. Um, the garlic, it's definitely like, tastes like the garlic that's been chopped up and put in a jar, contained in a jar that you can scoop out and use when you need it. Which isn't as nice. It's definitely not that nice if you put it on garlic bread or something. I don't know. I don't want to say bitter. It's not bitter, but in that area, if you know what I mean. Sort of bittery kind of taste to it, which isn't that nice. But you can still tell it's garlic, you know. There's maybe salt in this as well, but it doesn't taste it really particularly salty. A little bit, but not overly. Mm. I feel like the the outside of the pretzel has maybe been baked a bit too much. Because um, it's a lot more bitter than they normally are. Normally I have just enough bitterness to be nice, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of that. Maybe need to try another flavour, because... I think... Garlic bread flavour. That doesn't really work. Actual garlic bread definitely tastes better than that. Like, 100%. Um... Texture-wise, it's fine. It's got a bit of crunch. It's got the softness in the middle, which is quite nice. A bit of moistness. Uh, it's just the flavour's not great. It's quite bitter. Like, outside of pretzels tend to have a little bit of bitterness to them anyway, which is to be expected. But then the the, the sort of garlic flavouring that's added to this is adding extra bitterness to it, which is leaves a bad taste in the mouth. I have to say, the aftertaste isn't great. So, meh, nah, that's not great. Not a great flavour. I mean, I'm willing to give them another try because the texture's right. So if they get the flavour right, they could be really nice. So try some other flavours and see. But that, eh, nah, it's not, it's not up to much. Disappointing because I was really expecting to like that a lot, but there you go. Mm. So just to wash that down. Well, that was Craxel Pretzel Pieces Garlic Bread from Poundland. Don't know what the company's called. Emporio Foods Limited. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the wee bell for notifications anytime a new video comes out, and uh, head on over to the channel and watch all my videos in a row. There's only like four or five hundred of them, you know, so it won't take you more than a couple of years to get through them, so definitely worth uh, getting started now, for sure. But that'll do. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will catch you in the next video. I'll see you then. Cheers.